So I'm uh, back to uh, working on my uh, vertical single here. Uh, my uh, friend here uh, locally has uh, recommended that I uh, go back to a uh, hall effect. He's used it uh, successfully on his uh, uh, nine cylinder uh, radial engine and 18 cylinder engine that he's building. I'm talking of course about uh, Terry Mayhew. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, so I've decided to give it another go. I'm using a uh, circuit here that Terry uh, designed and drew up uh, a diagram for. Actually you can find it out on the, the web. Uh, I think it's under his nine cylinder radial engine build, uh, probably on HMEM. And basically this is just a circuit that tests, that lets you hook up the hull sensor and test it without the high voltage uh, CDI module being present. So I use this to uh, set it up, make sure it works, set the timing and everything. And then I can just simply unplug the hall sensor, uh, which I've got mounted on the engine, and replace the uh, test circuit with the uh, CDI <clears throat> ignition module, and hopefully it'll be ready to go. So I just wanted to show you here, um, if I turn this thing over, this, by the way, uh, this is just a solderless breadboard. Uh, this is a... Uh, Three double three double A cell batteries, which puts out four and a half volts. On this circuit here, which was designed by Terry, I have a, a transistor, three uh, resistors, and a filter capacitor, and uh, <clears throat> then a lead that goes to the hall sensor. So, first of all, I'll rotate it over by hand from afar. I don't know if you'll be able to see the light or not, but there the light came on, and. There it just went off, which is where it would fire. Uh, <clears throat> let me zoom in here a little bit and I'll run through that again. There we go. Now I'll, uh, turn it over. Here we go on compression. Or, sorry. Here we go on compression. There the circuit is charging. And here the hall sensor disconnects and it fires. And once again, here it uh, here it begins charging, and then here it fires. So uh, hopefully, I'll have a little more success with it this way, and won't burn up the hall sensor by having the uh, CDI module incorrectly hooked up. Thanks for watching.